Hello ladies and welcome back. So today's video is going to be about how to take care of yourself as a woman. Now I'm going to be giving you seven of my practical tips on how you can take care of yourself. Sometimes we get stuck. About three weeks ago, I felt like I was overwhelmed and I had overexerted myself and I really just didn't want to do anything at all. So I felt kind of stuck in that place. So I wanted to share with you ladies today what I did to help myself to come back to balance, to actually feel happy again, because oftentimes as a woman, we can overexert ourselves, whether or not we're taking care of children or just business or what have you. But sometimes we give too much of ourselves without taking a pause to actually refill our cups. So that's what today's video is going to be about. So a little bit of housekeeping. If you are landing on my channel for the first time and you enjoy leveling up, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. And also guys, if you loved watching this video, please hit the like button as that helps this channel out in the YouTube algorithm. So without further ado, Let's get into my seven tips on how you can take care of yourself as a woman. Now, before we get into my seven tips, I want to just do a quick outfit of the day. And I'm going to put you guys right here. So what I'm wearing today is this silk button down top by Lily Silk. And these are my sage green pants that I bought in Italy and I did not bother putting a belt on today because I just really didn't feel like putting on a belt. But everybody is talking about fall and I think that this is a really good fall outfit. I love sage green in the fall and also silk just feels good any time of the year. So this blouse I did pick up from Lily Silk, but I think this is a perfect outfit for the fall. And I'm probably going to pair this outfit with either these chunky loafers or I may actually wear my Mary Jane boots. I would love to read your comments down below which shoe you think that would pair best with what I'm wearing today. So let me know in the comments below, which shoe do you think I should wear? And again, it's this black loafer by Franco Sarto or my leather Mary Jane shoes I got in Italy. So my first tip, if you are feeling like you are stuck or overworked or you've overextended yourself, is to go somewhere and have fun. Pick a place that you really enjoy going to, even if it's just for the day. So when I started to feel stuck and overwhelmed about three weeks ago, I decided to go to Chateau Elan. And Chateau Elan is a place that I have loved for a very long time. And I've been there on several occasions. And I picked this spot because it brought back really good memories and fun times that I had there. And Chateau Elan is a winery and resort that is surrounded by serene lakes and nature. It is nestled in the rolling foothills of Georgia and it is just a really special place to spend the day or even a weekend if you wanted to. There's also a wine tasting on site at Chateau Elan. There's bicycle riding, equestrian horseback riding, and they also have a spa which my husband and I are going to be taking advantage of on our anniversary next month. So I'm really excited to try out their, their spa. If you wanna just spend the day getting a massage or a pedicure, I think this is a wonderful place to go. And I think getting a spa massage is just another element that can help you feel better. It can help you release some tension. And I know it did for me, when I felt very stuck and very overwhelmed and overworked and tired, when I go and get a massage, I typically feel a lot better. So if you live in Georgia, you can stay at the inn 
at Chateau Elan. I absolutely love the inn at Chateau Elan. I love a place that feels very warming and cozy and the lobby feels like you're sitting in your living room. And I can just imagine myself having a pumpkin spice latte sitting in the lobby by the fire with a good book to read. And this is a great way to relax and reset your mind. And also in the end, there's this beautiful restaurant called Versailles. And my husband and I drove up yesterday and we had lunch there at Versailles and we walked around the winery and we walked over to the inn and we had lunch there. And it's just a really beautiful place if you want to take a weekend, even if it's by yourself. But if you're taking someone with you, it's just a beautiful place to stay and kind of unwind and reset. And this is not a sponsored video at all. I just happen to love Chateau Elan. And for your significant other, there is also a whiskey bar that serves light dishes if the gentleman that's in your party loves that sort of thing. But I think it is a place for anyone to go and spend a day or a weekend and just unwind and reset. So if you are feeling burned out and in need of a reset, start by changing your surroundings and going somewhere nice. And sometimes, ladies, just changing your surroundings from being at home can help you feel happier and more energetic. So my second tip to help you reset and revitalize is to take time for yourself. And this is so extremely important as a woman because we are either raising kids or we're running a household. And some of us are running businesses. I know as for me, I've been working with several brands where I had deadlines and don't get me wrong, I enjoy what I'm doing and I definitely enjoy working with certain brands, but sometimes we can forget to take time for ourselves. So my tip number two is to take time for you. And the way I like to do that is my husband often leaves for work before 7.30 in the morning. And when he leaves, I like to have quiet time. I like to make myself a tea, light a candle, and just pick up one of my favorite books and start reading. And this really helps me to kind of check out of my environment for a little while. And reading for me is very relaxing. I absolutely love to read sometimes. And so for me, it's having that quiet time, not having to talk to anyone, but really just sitting still with yourself. And I love to do that early in the morning and just picking up my favorite book, lighting my favorite candle that I like to smell and just sitting with a cup of tea. And I actually think that as a woman, this is something that we should do frequently because having your quiet time is so important without disturbance. So my tip number two is to take time for you. So my tip number three is to go and get a facial and a pedicure. Now this is something that I really enjoy and I do do it frequently. So I found this new place and I went and got a facial and a pedicure and I happen to really just enjoy someone rubbing on my feet and just massaging them. It kind of helps release the tension in your body. And I also love getting a facial. So these are things that I think will be very beneficial to you if you do them frequently, because getting a facial is not only going to help your skin look better and a lot brighter, but you will also feel better about yourself. Doing something like a spa pedicure and manicure and even a facial can help you feel better about yourself. Now my tip number four is to exercise. Now this goes without saying, but as for me, exercise is one of those things that really helps me to feel better. 
for some reason, when I go to the gym and I run on the treadmill and then I do my strength training, something happens in my body where I instantly feel better. My mood is lifted. I feel better about taking care of myself. So getting frequent exercise is also a tool that you can utilize that will help improve your mood, that will help you reset your body, and it's also going to help you maintain your health. Now my tip number five is to go for a walk in a beautiful environment. Now one thing I've learned about myself is that when I go out in nature, it instantly boosts my mood. I feel more calm, I feel more peaceful, and oftentimes when I am walking in nature and just listening to the sound of the birds chirping, I like to pray and talk to God while I'm walking. It's just the sound of nature that really gives me an instant reset when I'm out there. So I would highly recommend that if you are feeling stuck or you just need to reset your mood or anything, I would highly recommend that you take a walk in a beautiful area. Now my tip number six is one that is more practical. I love getting my hair done and visiting my favorite stylist. When I get my hair done and get a really nice shampoo and a scalp massage and a blow dry, for some reason, this instantly improves my mood. It helps me to feel better about myself, to feel better about the way I look. So go into your hairdresser to get your hair done. It's also a way that can help you reset and feel more uplifted. Now my last tip, which is the bonus tip, is to spend time with friends. Now, I don't know about you ladies, but I value my girlfriend time. And there's just something about having close girlfriends that really helps me to feel more happy, feel more energetic. So make time to spend with close friends that help lift you up, that help you feel good about yourself and make you feel important and elevated. And I love spending time with my girlfriends. And my girlfriend just arrived from Portugal and has invited me to a girls' night this Sunday. And we're going to be decorating a charcuterie board. And just the six of us are going to be hanging out. So I'm really excited about that. So my tip number seven would be to make time for girlfriends. Now, oftentimes girlfriends time is a lot different from the time you spend with your spouse or your significant other. And there's just something about having those close friends that connect us that is extremely important to have as a woman. So those are my seven tips on how you can take care of yourself as a woman. And again, if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that like button. And if you're landing here for the first time, I would love to have you subscribe. Thanks for watching, ladies, and I'll see you in the next one.